Hey, what's up? This is Eddie over at Brown Nails at SHOT Show. We're going to do something a little different in this video. We want to kind of show you some of the things that we thought were pretty cool. Not your typical big brands, but uh, featuring some uh, pretty sweet products. Something you guys can take a look at. Ben Griffith with Flux Defense. There are a lot of Glock chassis out there that add a lot of bulk and a lot of size. The way they mount up is not so great because it affects your accuracy and it covers the ejection port, making them a little bit less reliable in your Glock. Now we've attempted to remedy that with the flux brace, which as you can see deploys incredibly fast at the tiny touch of a button right here. You can cheek it, you can you can uh, use it on your arm as a shoulder brace, that's what it's designed for. You can shoot it however you want. And it's holsterable as well. It goes right in and there's no way to, to mess that up. That's the flux brace. What's going on guys, having a Victos here. Uh, just gonna run through what we're all about here. We're a fairly new brand, about a year and a half old. As you can see, if you're not familiar with it, we're more of a, the lifestyle, pro-gun, uh, not in your face kind of tactical company. Uh, as you can see with some of our products, what we do is just different than what you've seen before. Uh, if you just come over here with me, we can start looking at everything. Um, we make all our jackets, they have the side zips, so if you carry inside or outside the waistband, it just goes up or down. This will be water resistant, we make a waterproof jacket as well. Uh, as we move over here, it's more of a, a schwacket. This is your shirt jacket, depends on the weather. Uh, it's called our contractor line, it's got side zips as well. Uh, with the matching pants, what we did here is we added a little extra fabric, so when you're taking a knee at the range, or uh, you got a drop holster, your pants aren't gonna bunch up. So as you can see, just unique and different and uh, things you haven't seen before. I am Angus Updale from CZ Custom Shop, Mace, Arizona, uh, presenting the AO1LD. This is gonna be the new uh, uh, line item in CZ's catalog for 2019. This is a uh, US made, made in Mace, Arizona uh, pistol uh, based on the CZ design, five inch gun, I want to point it at you, but bull barrel, uh, checkered frame, uses the P9, uh, PO9 magazines, um, low mount sights, dovetailed in front sight, uh, precision accuracy. We did a bunch of stuff internally, uh, tightened up a lot of tolerances and uh, uh, made it really super accurate. The, the pistol weighs 3.1 pounds with, a, with an empty magazine, so it's a heavy gun, uh, light recoil and super accurate. Hey, this is Zach with CZ USA here at SHOT Show 2019, showing off some of the new CZs we have. Uh, one of them we're really proud of, uh, we're finally manufacturing P10s in the US. So we have three variations. We have the F, the C, and the S, uh, all made in Kansas City. Uh, these are the optic ready versions. So they, they have a plate system built in. You can buy an RMR plate, a loophole, loophole delta point plate, or you can just leave it without. You, it's your choice. Uh, start at uh, 577 MSRP. Uh, capacities start at 12 for the S, uh, 15 for the for the C, and 19 for the F. Um, also showing off the the check version. Uh, this is a suppressor ready, so high night sights, uh, extended threaded barrel, and it does come with a boost in capacity. One of the big changes for 2019 for all the P10s is it's, they've gone to a reversible magazine release. So it's a when it first came out, it was an all ambi gun. We got a bit of feedback. People wanted a little bit easier magazine release. Some guns was a little, were a little sticky, took some break in. So they now have all reversible, much more easy to, to depress. Don't have any issues with it, trying to fight the magazine spring. So uh, in general, uh, they start around 499 bucks and go up from there. So if you need more info, head over to cz-usa.com. Here is our 457. So we've uh, basically transitioned all of our 455s over to the 457 line. Uh, makes a lot of changes for 2019. Um, big difference is uh, they all have a push to fire safety. So the checks have always been a little bit different. They've always had a wing safety on the back uh, would lock up the bolt. This is a push to fire safety. So you can put it on safe and still run the bolt. A little thing, but it makes a big difference. Um, also a change in bolt rotation. We go from a 90 degree bolt rotation to a 60 degree. You have a fully adjustable trigger for weight, over travel, and creep. Uh, the same interchangeable barrel system, the same magazine system, 
Uh, just a lot of little refinements that make this into a much nicer gun. MSRP start at 365 bucks. Uh, a gun like this is the Varmint Precision Trainer with a carbon fiber manner stock. Uh, comes in at 1144. So they kind of run the gamut in prices, but uh, all sorts of different variations. A lot of them are threaded for a suppressor. Uh, if you need more info, head over to cz-usa.com. Hey guys, welcome to SHOT Show 2019. You're in the IWI booth. Jeremy Gresham here. What we've got is the TS-12. It's our Bullpup 12 gauge, 15 and one uh, shotgun. Uh, two and three quarters, also will shoot three inch. It is a, got an A5 lifter here, so once the bolt locks to the rear, you will simply spin the tube. If there was a round in there, bolt will close. You have ambidextrous left and right charging handle. If it does gotta go left or right, it's a right-handed gun. If you do need to go to the left side, send it back to the factory, we'll get the bolt switched over. But other than that, come in here, adjust your gas. Benelli mobile choke system should be shipping sometime this year. We're excited to bring it online. Retail is gonna be around $1,400. What I've got here is our Tavor 7, the months anticipated Tavor 7 308 bullpup. Runs SR25 P mags, completely ambidextrous. You can you can run this left or right in the field, no questions asked. Has a four position gas block, one in ten barrel. This one's got a silencer co brake on it with our silencer co can over here. Uh, we launched this uh, later late last year. Held shipment, trying to get the accuracy figured out. We believe it should be better than what it is. Hopefully, it'll be shipping later this year, probably closer to the summer, if not sooner. Super excited about it. Retail's going to be around $2,100, and then maybe we'll see a 20-inch, maybe we'll see a 6.5. Who knows? All right, guys, that does it for day one. My feet are tired, my back is hurting, I'm about ready for a beer. Uh, be sure to stay tuned. Uh, we're going to be launching more content throughout the week, so hopefully we hit on some of the big brands you guys are looking forward to seeing. We'll see you guys.